Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for weatherweb.net. It's looking at a video today on Tuesday the 12th of January. Thanks for watching. So we take a look at the jet stream and these are the wind speeds at 300 millibars, around 30,000 feet in the atmosphere. This is the situation for today and the pink colours are showing speeds at around 150 knots in the main core of the jet stream then uh, situated across central and southern Europe. So the British Isles uh, and northern Europe distinctly on the cold side of the jet at this stage and some pretty uh, cool and unsettled conditions uh, widespread across central Europe. If we move that on over these next few days, just to see how things develop, you can see not too much of a jet stream flow across the Atlantic, so hence the pressure building and chilly conditions prevailing. We've not got that strong west or southwesterly flow that we had in previous weeks. So over the course of the next few days, a fairly weak jet stream over Central Europe, still trying to create unsettled conditions well towards the south. A stronger flow, though, a stronger flow from the north into this weekend may just intensify some of the showers that are around on Friday and Saturday as uh, that stronger jet stream flow uh, comes down from the north across Britain. As we move through the weekend then, that uh, digging down well into Europe is quite a trough feature then, so you'd expect uh, low pressure to be very much centred in this sort of region, so unsettled weather uh, likely in this sort of zone, an area of low pressure likely to develop here, and we'll see that on the charts in just a second. As we roll through into uh, Sunday and uh, the early part of next week, you can see a fairly disorganised jet stream. There's some uh, stronger wind speeds around in there, but uh, all very looping around, so no real direct flow at this stage. As we just move through uh, further forwards into early next week, just wash out in the Atlantic uh, towards our west, and a strong jet stream coming off uh, Canada and the States. Gradually, as we head further into Wednesday, Thursday now, towards the back end of the week, just making uh, some inroads towards the British Isles. So there's Friday, and the jet stream flow coming in like this so it's putting us back on the warmer side of the jet so hence the milder air coming in by this stage and the risk of unsettled conditions and areas of low pressure tracking towards our northwest so almost a return to where we were a few weeks ago but at this stage not looking quite as dramatic in terms of lows and rainfall amounts This chart then is the 500 millibar chart and we show this a lot here at weatherweb.net and this is the height then that's around 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. The closer together the contour lines on the chart effectively indicating where the jet stream is and then we've got lower heights where general lower pressure at the surfaces. So here's the current situation and you can see that our air is being dragged in from a cold source region around Greenland being dragged across the northwest of the British Isles and then south across the country. So it's not a direct northerly blast or a flow uh, from Siberia, but that's where we're getting uh, generally chillier air from. So if we run that forward over these next few days and just to see how things evolve towards the weekend, you see small uh, troughs just swinging through and that'll intensify some of the areas of showers these next few days. But towards Friday, you notice a ridge building out towards the west then and it's that that'll settle things down into the weekend as high pressure at the surface builds, but digging in a trough across continental Europe. So watch for an area of low pressure developing in there. That trough digging in further then in through the weekend and that uh, moving towards Italy and the Mediterranean, our ridge is still very much in place but just be beginning to be uh, eroded from the west as uh, lower heights towards the northwest try and move the next set of frontal systems in uh, by this stage. And a complicated rather messy picture then into early next week as fronts try and move into uh, uh, cold air that exists at the surface and a bit of a battleground uh, taking place. It usually takes quite a while for uh, chillier surface air to be pushed out of the way so for a day or so early next Next week, I expect uh, generally fairly cool conditions to prevail for gradually that air from the southwest uh, does win out into the middle part of the week. Here's Wednesday then, and we see uh, a southwesterly flow uh, setting up across the country, a uh, ridge developing and building uh, towards the, the east and uh, slowly advancing its way further towards Scandinavia. Moving towards the end of the week and the weekend, if we just continue the sequence onwards towards uh, Saturday, we see that that uh, ridge of the upper heights extending across Britain and across uh, towards the Baltic region, and uh, so high pressure in this sort of zone here, so fairly settled conditions towards the south. We've got low pressure uh, and low heights towards the north, so frontal systems passing in this part of the world. And it's then how that evolves further forwards that's uh, the question in the forecasting uh, conundrums at the moment. We've got cold air uh, moving southwards into uh, central southeastern Europe here, relatively cool air digging in across the Atlantic in this region. And it may be that that area of high pressure uh, and the higher heights uh, builds further with milder air uh, towards uh, Scandinavia. And 
eventually that leaves an area of uh, higher heights and higher pressure somewhere in here which could just allow the jet stream flow uh, to cut across the bottom of it uh, and leave us in the colder conditions going further forwards. Alternatively, and this will get a little bit messy now, we've got uh, the risk of uh, that uh, high just toppling away allowing the westerly Atlantic jet stream to get back in and uh, that high uh, to erode its way towards the south and southeast and keep us in a somewhat uh, more milder westerly pattern. So those are the question marks really going that bit further forwards and at the moment just seeing how the models handle that one is uh, the one we're watching for. And as promised, there's the surface pressure chart, and that's for this weekend. And as we saw, there's an area of low pressure and unsettled wet and windy conditions affecting uh, southeastern Europe through this weekend. High pressure is across the British Isles. So as you can see, various pieces of the puzzle to put together, and you can see how we can build a picture even before we go anywhere near looking at the surface pressure charts, uh, those upper air patterns, and the jet stream that tells quite a useful story. We'll keep an eye on that, as always, here at featherweb.net in the days ahead. And don't forget, if you want a bit more information for these next few days, check out the Fast Forecast video here on the website. For today, thanks for watching, and bye for now.